because you took advantage of his sin when I was helpless, molting, moist, and tender, hoping for the best, dreaming of a marriage in a mountain state, I of a litter of Lolitas. That's Vladimir Nabokov, the emigre Russian poet, reading from his novel Lolita. I, the 1950s, when a make-believe professor and his guilty pleasure could scandalize an innocent nation. And a real professor and his research gave the creeps to a college town. That public transit bus recalls a curious urban legend in Ithaca, New York. Nabokov lived here in the 1950s. He was teaching literature at Cornell and struggling to write Lolita about a college professor named Humbert in the wrong kind of love with his way too young stepdaughter. Our literary legend has Nabokov riding Ithaca City buses to eavesdrop on local girls and learn their speech patterns. Come on. She's the only friend I've got in this stinking world. You never let me have any. I'd write a novel too if I had lines like that delivered by Hollywood starlet Sue Lyons playing Lolita in the 1962 movie. But back to the bus where Nabokov had a problem. He was fluent in three languages. American schoolgirl was not one of them. Could he really gather authentic dialogue on a bus? What would he hear today? Can a middle-aged bald man, not unlike Nabokov, get away with such a creepy endeavor? Let's get on the bus and find out. Oh, I love it. It's so cool. Except it's like brown, so it's not that Don't worry, I have permission from the bus company to be here. And I vetted this bus talk thing with another Ithaca novelist. Professor Paul Cody even teaches Lolita to college students. He says they have trouble separating the teller from the tale, the author from the story of a pedophile. His students think Nabokov was the pervert, and Professor Cody says he did ride the bus. Today, though, he might just watch television. Maybe American Idol and a contestant named Bikini Girl, the subject of one conversation I'm hearing. Inside of the hotel, and we're like, yeah, let's put her through. Yeah. And I'm like, just because she's wearing a bikini? No, she's got to have she's talent. Not well, I thought she had both, she talent and beauty. Not that that has anything <laughs> the beauty part, but... <laughs> no, she had talent. I don't know about beauty. She sort of, sort of like, stuck up to me a little bit. Sorry. I thought she was pretty cool. Quite understand. Especially when she was making up with Ryan. I know, I was like, you could do that on TV. I'm really sorry that I cheated so much. But I guess that's just the way things are. Why are you, he asked in a high, hoarse voice, his hands thrust into his dressing gown pockets, his eyes fixing a point to the northeast of my head. Are you by any chance Brewster? Whoever he was, the teller or the tale, when Nabokov died in 1977, Newsweek called him America's most famous dirty old man. Maybe so. Mothers with children here in Ithaca in the 50s are still talking about the celebrated author around the corner. Did he really ride the bus with our children? <laughs> <laughs>